Good morning, remote learners. This week, I thought we could focus on typography. Typography, text, the written word, words as art, in art, surrounded by art, word, word, words. But um, today, I thought we could start by using a different surface. Um, so in lieu of paper, or plain paper anyway, or a canvas, um, finding an old book, tearing out a page or two, um, and working on that as your surface. Um, so here's a sample I did a few minutes ago. It's a bird. Troop, troop. Um, so one way of kind of approaching this, which is kind of fun, is essentially you rip out a page, you scan through the text, and you find a word, a sentence, a paragraph, a thought, a feeling that resonates with you, and then you illustrate that directly on the page. So, like, for my example, the word bird was quite literally on the page. So I was like, oh, sweet, easy. And I painted a bird. Um, and this page um, I found earlier, it's about botany, and there was a reference to some kind of an orchid. So, like, for this, um, I'm just going to paint some kind of an orchid. But... My thoughts are with you guys, um, if you're scanning through a random old book and you can't find anything that you super dig or that resonates with you, um, create your own story, illustrate your own image on the page, um, but just use the page as an interesting backdrop um, instead of canvas, because I think that adding a dimension like that uh, just makes our work more interesting, kind of uh, almost like an introduction to collage. But... Um, I'm going to go pretty quick because uh, this is kind of more, you know, find an old book, find a word that you dig and go for it um, more than um, needing necessarily a tutorial per se. But I'll work with you all a little bit on some watercolor techniques. So I am going to sketch an orchid or do the best I possibly can doing that. I'm not much of a flower drawing girl. Um... Plus, I want to go fast, um, so I don't drone on. I feel like I'm missing y'all more and more, and so I'm <laughs> talking more and more, and these are taking longer and longer. Um, so I'm going to make a concerted effort to not do that. Um, all right, there's my little stem. Okay, a couple of tricks with watercolor. This is just a relatively cheap set. Oh, there you go. Um, that I brought home um, for for COVID 2020 um, from school so I could do these demos, but really any watercolors would do, or even Sharpies, Sharpies, colored pencils, really any kind of color implement, or even just, gosh, I mean, pencil, pen. Um, but something that I do when I'm working with watercolors is I actually, before I use them, I come in and I add a little bit of water to each little palette of color, because I find that it'll kind of soften up the color for me and make it easier to work with. Um, so here, I'm gonna try to pull this down so you can kind of, there we go. Okay. I think you can see that too. Um, so I'm going to start with like a little bit of a, I don't know, kind of a light pink. Um, one thing I do with watercolor is that I work light to dark because it's not necessarily a very forgiving medium. Um, and it's easier to do dark values over light values than, uh, vice versa. So, and arguably I should probably switch out my brushes more often, get different size brushes. Um, another thing is I generally don't use straight out of the tube color because I think it's more interesting to kind of mix your tones and colors. Like here, I'm gonna add some purple to my pink, um, get a darker value, get some striations. Oops, maybe a little too purple. Maybe I smudged that with my finger. Um, but, um, let's see, I was listening to music, so I'm going to turn that off. Um, <clears throat> so I'm adding some darker values as I go and as I grow this piece. Um, I'm not even going to rinse out my brush. I'm going to come directly into my yellow to do that little stamen. I think that's what it's called. Do I remember that from eighth grade biology? My goodness. Go, Miss Coyle. <laughs> um, all right, I'm going to pull in some white. Um... I do right there. Well, I'm not really doing such a bang up job on this, but 
I wanted y'all to kind of get the gist of it. Another cool thing is if you have any like dried up brushes, um, either you didn't wash them out well or they're just not good brushes, you can actually use them to create texture, um, kind of like a dry brush method. Like, oh shoot, I don't think you can see that in the screen here. See what that does? Kind of adding texture um, where it's like if it's a really clean brush, it's gonna brush smooth and beautifully like that. But sometimes you wanna have that kind of rough texture. Like actually, I want that for, I'm gonna make some black in there. Um, down in here. Um, so that essentially is how I would approach this. I would then maybe come in arguably maybe beforehand so you don't ruin your your sharpies um but do you know a little bit of broken line maybe not a heavy outline because if you do a heavy outline it's going to flatten out your piece um but if you do kind of broken lines it'll kind of um give you a little more definition i might do that on the little stem stem dealio um using white if you have it would be stellar um, because you'll still see through the text. Might grab some of that white, um, but it'll kind of lighten up uh, the page from that kind of creamy, creamy color to a white. Um, yeah, I mean this is just kind of a fun project. I mean I'd, I'd just pick a random page and go for it. Um, you know, spend some time on your details, think about what you're gonna do. Maybe you're incorporating text. Maybe you're not. Um, Oh gosh, a little too garishly green, huh? Um, here, I'll make some random leaves. <laughs> there you go. Um, another thing you could do is maybe you darken up the edges. Um, sometimes I'll kind of create a makeshift frame by just coming around the edges. Um, keeping my brush really, really wet. Um, kind of doing something like that, maybe dipping my finger in the water, smudging it, um, you know, something like that. They're just, they're kind of fun, you know, um, but do what you do, pick a, pick a page, pick a word to illustrate and go for it. Um, but as you can tell, it just kind of gives it a cool, a cool feeling to see, um, text behind your work. Um, I think that's about it. Uh, tomorrow, I think we will do, um, hmm, I don't know yet, but something with text <laughs> and typography. And I hope you'll have a good day. I really miss you guys. See you tomorrow. Bye.